Time to play with some clay. Web on my uh, reference material, and I finally decided on a possible uh, design and subject. And I'm going to use this 24 inch uh, armature that you get from uh, Sculpture Depot. It's a uh, it's a wire frame. You can't get true true form armatures anymore. I've got one back there that I could use. But I just don't want to use it yet, because <laughs> he may come back to you making these armatures, and I may want to get one. Anyway, <clears throat> I already have the head measurements plotted out. This is head measurement one, two, three, and four, which takes me right down to the waist of the uh, figure. Uh, you always have to have your head measurements, and. Uh, let me show you what I'm going to do, and I'm going to put my glasses on for this. Um, it's going to be a Cheyenne Crazy Dog Society leader that I'm going to do. This is from a uh, actual... Uh, uh, well, you know what I'll do is I'll just post the pictures that I took of... Uh, uh, Michael Bad Hands uh, model uh, in Wyoming I took quite a few years ago. Um, Michael Bad Hand is a, uh, a, an incredible resource for a lot of Western artists. We didn't live back in the 1800s, so we can't know without researching deeply what people wore and what societies wore and stuff like that. And Michael is as good a uh, source as any you'll ever find. And he offers incredible uh, deals for uh, modeling sessions and stuff like that. He usually does them in the summertime. But anyway, let me give you a, a little rundown. I, I did a sculpture some years ago uh, called Cheyenne War Party Leader. And it was a bronze that uh, was quite large. And... Uh, it was on horseback, and I had just completely forgotten uh, what the society was and everything like that uh, for the uh, war party leader. This bronze is of uh, called Cheyenne War Party Leader. Uh, he uh, is dressed in a headdress with a uh, antelope horns on the headdress attached to uh, the hat. And the hat has uh, uh, ermine braids hanging from it and on it. And it was a Northern Cheyenne War Party leader of the Crazy Dog Society. Uh, we know this because of the uh, scalp shirt uh, and uh, he's wearing and with the locks of human hair and a headdress uh, with antelope horns, the Crazy Dog sign. His horns were attached to a hat of ermine braids of each tribe formed in separate bands. The crazy dogs being accounted the bravest were in front of all others while the dogs but soldiers brought up the rear. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, I came across a painting by uh, Charlie Russell. And it showed a young man, uh, probably a Blackfoot, leaning on a rock, and he's looking for a uh, wagon train off in the distance. Well, I thought of this pose would be good for this uh, uh, piece. Um, I'm going to show you the pictures of uh, the uh, from the model shoot. I'm going to have him wearing this outfit, so maybe. I'm, I'm checking with Michael to see if he would have worn, uh, gone without the shirt, but, uh, uh, you know, if he's going to be uh, Crazy Dog Society, he probably had to wear the shirt. I don't know. 
Anyway, I'm going to have him uh, standing on a rock like in that painting by Russell, looking out towards uh, the prairie and uh, trying to see uh, if uh, he can see a wagon train or the dust of a wagon train off in the distance. My great-great-grandfather came across the prairie in 1846 or 7 on the way to the, to the uh, what would be the Salt Lake Valley. He was in a Mormon, in the first group of Mormon pioneers coming across from Missouri, uh, or Illinois, to uh, cross Iowa and Nebraska and Wyoming and on into uh, Utah. Uh, he related in his diaries that the Cheyenne were the most magnificent and the most, oh, what, what did he say? They, they had great dignity, far more than most of the tribes that he had seen on the prairie. And he had seen the Cheyenne because he went through Cheyenne territory <coughs> on the way to uh, the Great Salt Lake. But at any rate, I'm going to try that. I'm going to figure out how to do the uh, rocks and then how to... Uh, adjust this uh, armature to go with the rocks. Now if you want to get an armature like this uh, you can on uh, at uh, sculpturedepot.net they offer these uh, armatures and the support system is something that uh, uh, Karen's husband designed to uh, it works perfectly for supporting these armatures and giving it strength so it won't be falling over and stuff and uh, you can adjust as you can see here the uh, angle of the uh, armature to you know match the uh, angle of the uh, skull the uh, armature with, that you're coming up with the design for all right that's going to be it for today i'm going to get started on this uh, i gotta i gotta figure out what i'm going to do on the base I'm going to probably have to take this off of this base and put it on a bigger base and uh, go from there. It'll probably take a couple of days for me to get started on it, which means probably next week. But uh, I just want to give you guys an update as to what I'm thinking of doing. All right. Till next time. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.